I'm going to put the allotment today. An allotment is where you can grow fruit and vegetables or even flowers. So I've come up here, it's a beautiful day. And as you can see, we're looking over Sheffield. I've come up here because I want to plant some seeds and some bulbs and tubers. So I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Lots of flowers grow from bulbs and lots of them are planted in autumn. These are called grape hyacinths and you plant these in autumn and as you can see in spring they start to flower. Other plants that you might know are crocus which I'm afraid have finished now but these are also, can you guess? Yeah, it's a daffodil. These grow from bulbs. I'm going to show you some more. Crocus Tulip Hyacinth Snowdrop Things like onions and shallots and garlic grow from what are called sets or bulbs. It's the same kind of thing. It has all the food that the plant needs all stored up. This is a shallot and I'm going to plant it in the ground here. So I've dug a little hole. I'm just going to put it in. You've got to make sure you put it the right way round. Here is the bottom, that's where the roots will grow. And this is the top. So I'll put it in this way round. Cover it with soil very gently. Leave it to grow and we'll come back and see how that does later in the year. Over here I've got potatoes. They're probably a little bit different than you're used to seeing. This is a variety called Pink Fur Apple, which seems a strange name for a potato. If you look at the top here and on the side, it's got little shoots. I've kept them in a cool place in the light and they've started to grow, so they're ready to go in the ground. So all I need to do is dig a hole as deeply as I possibly can, like this, and then put it in with that little shoot pointing upwards. And we'll leave that and come back in a few weeks and see if it's growing. I must apologise, I forgot to explain that potatoes aren't bulbs, they're actually tubers. Slightly different name, but in a similar way they've got all the food stored in here, lots of energy for them to grow and very important, don't just leave them like that, make sure you cover them with the soil, they don't want to be in the sunlight. Okay, seeds come in different shapes and sizes and colours. Here we've got a few varieties, these are radish seeds, these are beetroot seeds, these are spinach seeds and these rather unusual ones are parsnip seeds and they're kind of flat, can you see that? So I'm going to have a go at planting some of those today. Seeds need warmth to germinate which is the first stage when they first start to grow so I've had this over the soil to get it nice and warm or a little bit warmer than it has been so if we have a look inside you can see that I've already started planting some of them so I've put some nice soil in there and what we're going to do is we're just going to plant a few more down here put them in really carefully like so okay And when we've got them in there, all we need to do is we need to cover them up with some soil. Okay, make sure they're all tucked in nicely. I'm sure there are some gardeners out there tutting at my planting methods, but I'm sure they will be okay. So we plant them all in and then they've got enough food to get them started. So they don't need light at the moment, that's why seeds can go under the soil, but they do need water. So we need to give them a drink of water. 
And then, last but not least, close the lid so that they're all safe and warm. And then we'll come back in a few weeks and see how they're doing. Now it's your turn. So here's a few ideas of things that you could do uh, for your learning activities. The first is you could get a potato just like this one, put it on a sunny windowsill and sprout it and then you could plant it in the ground or in a pot and see if you can, if you can get it to grow. You could draw on this plants that grow from bulbs and ones that grow from seeds. You could do a detailed drawing of a plant so it could be from your garden or it could be on the internet or you could paint or collage. Depends materials that you have in your house. You could put any work that you do in your house window so that you can share it with people and I'm sure that will put a smile on many people's faces as they walk past your house. Uh, you can also do an online quiz, there will be a link for that that is in the year two email. If you do any activities it would be lovely to see them so if you want to email photos or work uh, we would be very excited to see you learning. Take care everybody and I'll speak to you soon.